Hey everybody, it's Jake Makes, and today we're gonna to talk about Bagua. Bagua is an extremely important area of Chinese Gong Fu because it makes up one of the main internal fighting systems of Chinese Gong Fu. Tai Chi being one, Xing Yi being two, and Bagua being three. And in my system of Chinese martial arts, I teach Tai Chi to beginners, then I teach the Bagua as the intermediate internal style, we move on to Xing Yi as the advanced internal style. And so where Tai Chi is the ultimate yielding art, specializing in defense, and Xing Yi is the ultimate offensive art, specializing in extremely powerful strikes, Bagua is like the sonar. It's the ability to see your opponent's moves on that screen and know where the angles are. So Bagua is the guidance system that allows the strikes to find their target. When we use Bagua Zhang in a fighting format, it also has a lot of close range fighting, a lot of joint manipulation, takedowns, and throws. So I think Bagua is an extremely important skill for the intermediate Kung Fu specialist because it's gonna teach you to be very comfortable with close range fighting, takedowns, and throws when you are fighting your opponent. The second most important part of Bagua Zhang is the breathing. We wanna have a meditative-like breathing ability similar to Tai Chi. So right now when we're starting, I want you guys to breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth, and focus a few breaths at the top of your chest here. So put your hand here, breathe in, breathe out, and then again, two more breaths, drop the focus to the solar plexus. Again. Two more breaths, drop the focus to the Dantian, below the navel. Open the eyes. And you can do as many breaths like this as you would like. And then we have to start into our form training and do a lot of form training, training our rooting, our brain, our combinations, our techniques, and how they link together. Then you need to learn how those techniques are applied in combat. Then you have to apply those techniques in a free sparring style of combat. And you'll be the complete Bagua master. So beginning, we're gonna stand just like this, as you should stand right now. And I have a orange, I put here right in the middle. And if my orange is my center, I'm gonna take one step behind the orange and then one step to the right of the orange. So that the orange is now 45 degrees to the left to my front center. And the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to bow this way and put the hands down to the sides. Then step out to the left and move the hands this way. Then lightly tap the right and move the hands this way. Now the left foot steps forward and we move the hands this way to the right. Come back this way up. Paint the fence down, both palms forward. Then place the right foot here and turn in toward your orange toward the center here that both my palms are facing toward the orange, my solar plexus is facing toward the orange, and my vision is toward the orange, everything toward the center. Then I'm gonna take a bunch of steps in a circle around the orange with the hands remaining in this position with my shoulders dropped. Right, left, right, left. Keep that corkscrew-like torque in the spine and step and move and keep your hands as if you're fighting somebody. So our body position is combative. Notice how my foot hits the ground at the same time. The flat of my foot hits the ground at the same time heel and ball the foot together. 
turn, turn, turn. Should be cramping up here on the side. Once you do about 100 steps, left foot ends it. Turn this way and clear underneath. Paint the fence down. And then turn in toward the orange again. Hands toward the orange, solar plexus toward the orange, and vision toward the orange. And walk again this way. The breath is still deep. Stepping, body movement, and arms as if you're about to fight somebody. Foot flat, contacting the ground. And then once you get back to your original position, come back to center. Palms back down at the sides. Take your breath. And that's lesson one of classical Bagua. So you should practice this at least probably 500 steps to the left and 500 steps to the right per day. Let's right now move on to our next lesson, which is gonna be the full section one of our classical, or what we call the fundamental Bagua form or Tao Lu. I don't want you guys to worry about how well you're doing it right now. I want you to just memorize the techniques and that's your only goal here at first. So stand right here again, 45 degrees from the center of your circle, which is my orange. I'm gonna stand nice and tall and root my feet down to the ground and then start with my left foot stepping to the left and opening up the hands this way. Then my right foot and right hand coming up this way. My left hand is back. Step across the circle with the left foot and turn to the right. Come back this way, clear underneath, both hands up and then paint the fence down with both palms out. Let this foot come up a little bit, the right foot, and then turn toward the center of your circle, toward my orange. And root those feet down. We're gonna walk the circle six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the sixth step kind of ended us where we started from. From that position, I'm going to take my left hand, spiral it underneath here, and the fingers and the wrist hook out as the right foot steps around to a horse stance. This is called the purple swallow throws its scissors tail. The hands come back in like this. So I hooked out. Once I hooked out, the hands come back in together and we scissor here with the right palm facing this way and the left palm facing this way. Fingers up with the right, fingers out with the left. And my horse stance is strong. Then from there, I turn to my left and both my hands hook out this way. Hook. From there, I drop back and then I push both those hands forward, just like that. And so I end up with my back leg kind of straight right here, my front leg bent, and both my hands out in front, and getting this nice classical martial art posture right here. Now the other side, the same movements. Turn this way, move to the left. Clear underneath. Paint the fence down, and then turn to the right, and again toward the center of my circle, both palms facing out. And then step the six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. From there, my right hand now initiates the movement. Hooking out with the right hand, the left hand and left foot come around, and we clip here, the opposite of last time. The left fingers are up, the right fingers are out, and we purple swallow, throw the scissors tail. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Good horse stance, clipped right in here. Then turn to the right, both hands clip this way, clip. 
draw back and push forward with a nice strong stance, good posture, and the hands in this position. You guys did it, you made it through section one. Let's do this section again, but this time, have you guys stand behind me as if you're behind me in one of my live in-person classes. All right, let's talk about the traditional posture names for this first section of Bagua Zhang, the fundamental form. Our beginning position is called starting position, which is just holding your stance like this. After a starting position, we do a move called, while riding the horse, ask the way. So while riding the horse, ask the way. That way, that's the first move. Then under the leaves, hide the flowers. Under the leaves, hide the flowers. Then wild ducks out as a flock. Wild ducks come out as a flock. And then we do what's called turn. Count our steps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then underneath here, purple swallow throws the scissors tail and then we do shut the door and push the moon the other side is the same posture so under the leaves hide the flowers wild ducks come out as a flock and then turn one two three four five six purple swallow throws the scissors tail then shut the door and push the moon. And that completes section one. You guys have to learn the movements, the stances, the breathing, and the posture names. Once you have all that stuff down, I give you permission to move on to section two, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me here at my Shaolin Center YouTube channel. Please check out some of the other Bagua videos we have in our Bagua Zhang playlist here on our YouTube channel. If you guys are ready for section two, go to jakemace.com, sign up for my online school. It's just five bucks a month or 50 for the entire year. And we have section two uploaded in the Bagua Zhang playlist of the online school. It's also in the first black belt playlist of the online school. If you wanna see what's new inside the online school go to jakemace.com and click on the what's new link and if you want other bagua videos here on youtube go to my bagua playlist here at my shaolin center youtube channel check it out there's dozens and dozens of bagua videos that are free here on youtube and if you want more thorough complete instruction the online school at jakemace.com is the place for you thanks for watching and training with me on this video please hit like and subscribe it really helps us out a lot and don't forget that if you are the greatest Bagua practitioner that ever lived, but you only practice once in a while, then you are nothing. The key to becoming a master of Kung Fu or a master of Tai Chi or a master of Bagua is consistent daily practice. Find at least that five minute time every day in the morning, maybe as a break at work, or in the evening to practice your Kung Fu for at least five minutes. And even if you don't memorize things very fast, and even if you're not the most physically gifted person, if you practice consistently every day, then I count you as a Kung Fu master.
Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys back here next time as well as on my Jake Mace Tai Chi Instagram and my Jake Mace Tai Chi Facebook. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to show you guys the next Bagua video here on YouTube.